A sonic revolution is upon us, and it's time you sat up and listened. When it comes to recording sounds from the animal kingdom, advancements in tech means we're capturing more than ever before. Digital microphones, cheap to install, automated, portable, lightweight, that run on batteries, similar to your smartphone. These microphones pick up sound beyond human hearing range in the high ultrasound frequencies, but also in the very low frequency range, the infrasound. This is opening up the vast world of sonic communication. Whales, bats, dolphins, elephants, turtles, honeybees, and coral reefs. Science is eavesdropping on some truly incredible conversations. Yes, seals. And these are being installed everywhere on the planet, from the depths of the ocean to the remotest reaches of the Antarctic and the Arctic to the Amazon. This is the beluga. They're actually being used all over Australia. Now this is where we start, Skip. You cover your eyes and I'll hide. These huge new data sets of sound are now being analysed and decoded by AI machine learning, which means we're discovering sounds and patterns of animal communication otherwise inaudible to human ears. And the resulting insights are breathtaking. What we're learning is that many more animals actually vocalise than we had previously realised. A great example is peacocks. Everyone's familiar with the beautiful mating dance of the peacock. You know, for millennia, humans have thought this was a visual display. But we only recently figured out that there's a big sonic component. The biomechanics of the tail are like a huge acoustic resonator. It's making a huge sort of sound like a rock concert if you could hear it, but we can't. Scientists just recently discovered that mother whales whisper to their newborn babies in order to hide their babies from predators. Humans have simply been oblivious to all of these sounds. So are we creating a world where we can talk to the animals? Well, at least some of them. So researchers are putting together an elephant dictionary for East African elephant. There are two projects underway to use AI to try to decode sperm whale communication. Honeybees. We now know that honeybees have a couple of hundred sounds. Sounds for stop, sounds for begging. The queen has her own specific sound. Floating around in ecstasy. So some scientists believe that we're on the brink of inventing a zoological version of Google Translate. Now, I just want to say this is not going to happen tomorrow, but it is possible that for a small set of animals and a small set of signals, we really are going to have the ability to start rudimentary interspecies conversations. Wow. Kind of like Dr. Doolittle, the man who talks to animals in their own language. This is very far from Dr. Doolittle. It doesn't mean we're fluent. It doesn't always need to be about us. Lots of species are already engaged in interspecies communication, just not with us. Alan! 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 Now, I know what you're thinking. Will I be able to one day talk to my dog? So there are some companies out there promising sort of translation apps for your pets. I wouldn't sign up um, right just yet. The challenge is that with some pets, the primary mode of communication is not acoustic. It might be embodied, it might be biochemical. Yeah, forget about those apps and download the peacock dating app I made called Pea Harmony. You can live your best life. <laughs> Wow, Sharon, you look nothing like your picture. Anyway, keep an ear out. In nature, silence is an illusion, and we're just beginning to figure this out. Wowzers. It's cool. cool. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Is there... I don't think we want to know what our cats think about us, but, but stuff like, you know, whales and, like, parts of the world that and ecosystems that we have no idea about and no contact with, like, if you can actually learn stuff from what the animals are saying to each other, it's very cool. I definitely want to know what the dog thought of the promo um, for the project. <laughs> but Same I, thing I, as everyone else, probably. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, though, the, an the animal kingdom has got so many reasons to be annoyed with us and to hate us. Yes, correct. Humankind. Yes. And then you're teaming them up with the robots. Mm. Is this just going to end really badly? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. See, my concern is that animals I've lived with in the past, I've told them a lot of secrets. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. If they start chatting, there's going to be all kinds of skeletons <laughs> coming. You know what I mean? They're going to be spreading your... Those gossipy animals. What you, what dogs. Are, very are, gossipy. What are you telling your peacock? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.